I decided to solve the problem of pedestrians because the level of death among them is huge, they are the most vulnerable and less protected group of people. It is not rare the reason that they die is because cars run into them in the dark. Pedestrians are simply invisible. Therefore, Saeed, together with the team, decided to produce clothes and bracelets with passive reflective elements. However, in the process of implementing the project, the developers rethought the idea and decided to deal with a problem that causes accidents. This became the driver for launching a new startup. We live in the age of mobile technologies, where everyone has a telephone starting from children to adults. And when it is harder to make adults listen, children are still flexible. Teenagers can also be interested in something new easily, they can act differently, think differently. That is how the idea of a mobile app Tuma was born. The service simulates a complex of the road situations on the smartphone and teaches you how to react correctly to them. The main problem besides the mentality and lack of culture is the misunderstanding between the drivers on the road. Many people do not know anything about this stopping distance. With the help of a new app, a driver or a cyclist tries on the role of another road user, and it happens playfully in a light, unobtrusive format. In the first version of the application, the authors focused on the functional. It allows you to compete with other users in the field of the traffic code knowledge. We made it so that in the main menu, as soon as you enter the app, you immediately get into the multiplayer mode or the competition mode, in other words. Each player receives the same questions and the same amount of time to answer. If he answers correctly, his rating rises. The faster the player answers the question, the more points he gets. Everything in the app is exactly the way it is in life. There is not much time for reaction, so you need to make the right decisions faster than others. The Surface finds partners for the game itself. The application reads contacts from a mobile phone. If there are users of this application among your contacts, it finds them and suggests inviting them to a duel. If not, you can invite friends from social networks. The functionality of this service includes a personal cabinet. Here you can register and receive prizes from partners. It is made to encourage players to use the app. In the future, Saeed plans to open a store where players will exchange virtual stars for real prizes. As the application and new functions advance, we will invite new partners and we also plan to make a discount on insurance. Developers plan to expand the functionality of the application, including the theoretical base. And if the Tumar succeeds in reducing the number of road accidents in the Republic, then according to Saeed, this will be the biggest reward for him. Destination Hack Almaty was held in Kazakhstan for the first time. This is the hackathon of solutions for the tourist industry. It was organized by the business incubator Most and the Sabre Corporation. We wanted to know how much the professionals of this market are ready to set such global tasks as the development of software for travel agencies and all market players. Destination Hack Almaty is the successor of similar events in London, Singapore and Brazil. Therefore, the tasks for our participants were not inferior to the European or Asian hackathons in complexity. Startuppers armed with API from Sabre Corporation created, programmed and tried to surprise the jury of the hackathon for two days. The guys from the project Kraken did not even suspect that they would become prize winners of the hackathon. Their project is aimed at the safety of travelers. The project provides a certain solution for travel agencies, which warns customers about possible terrorist acts, natural disasters and other uncontrolled events in the country that the traveler visits. Malik Mukatai, the winner of the competition, was also surprised by his victory. The guy created a messenger called Travel Assistant, where travelers and representatives of the travel agencies discuss their questions. I chose the very first of the main tasks. At the very beginning, I made decision on bank transfers, but it was difficult with the protection of transactions, so I chose the first task, communication. 
Will the tourism hackathon become annual in Kazakhstan? Here much depends not only on Sabre Corporation, but also on the ability of Kazakhstani startups to systematically develop their projects. There were several talented teams, young specialists who already heading towards readiness for such processes of global development. They are ready to work with business structures. Despite all the issues of the world economy, the tourism industry is on the rise. According to the World Tourism Organization, at the United Nations, revenues from international tourism in 2015 rose by 3.6 percent. This means that the fourth year in a row, international tourism is developing faster than other export-oriented industries. Mentor is a person who transmits to its startuppers his knowledge and experience, helps with finding contacts of the right people. As a rule, the mentor does not provide material support. Surprisingly, but until October 2016, Kazakhstan did not have a national postal service. Now the portal Mail.kz took this place. For Sergei Alabogin, it is not the first major project. There are several successful startups in the entrepreneur's portfolio. The Mail.kz occupies a special place among them. It took a long time to come up with this idea. It took almost a year because I had an idea of creating my own product. Moreover, the product was interesting, claimed by Kazakhstanis. At first, the project was conceived as an email service. This is a universal means of communication between users and a unique identifier for developers. This project should be more service-oriented and aimed at uniting IT companies, young ambitious guys around it and providing them with a service platform. Over time, the concept of Mail.kz has changed. From the mail service, Portal has become a full-fledged electronic platform where they provide a full set of tools for developers. There are already a number of projects in the near future we will launch and implement them. They were developed by young teams of students of the MUIT, Kazakh National Technical University and so on. The core of the site is a mail service where 1,150,000 boxes are registered. 80,000 unique users visit Portal every day. They scan up to half a million pages, and these indicators are constantly growing. I hope we will increase our entire audience to the maximum and bring it to 3.5 million people. But recently, there is a tendency that users from our neighboring states are registered. 3.5 million is not much, but according to the developers, this is the maximum they are counting on. This is due to the fact that Kazakhstan's audience is very limited. Therefore, we want to expand in different directions with services that may only come to people's minds. In addition to email, visitors of Mail.kz use a social network, an SIP gateway for calls and a payment service. In addition, users store files in the cloud and are blogging. We pursue only one task – to earn money on this project, to monetize it, to bring it to a normal proper level at the same time not being ashamed of our product. In the near future, Mail.kz will have new headings where they sell real estate and cars. In addition, the National Electronic Service of Kazakhstan is in talks with Mail.ru on the integration of gaming platforms. And finally, the most ambitious task of developers is the launch of online TV and music service. достаточно интересный. Да? Подобных решений на рынке нет, но есть большое количество рисков. Да? Нет, не потому... The project is quite interesting. There are no similar solutions on the market, but there are a lot of risks. Not because no one came up with this, but probably because this is a great legislative complexity and great difficulty in organizing such processes. Every payment in case of insurance is related to the fact that this payment falls into various supervisory bodies. Insurance companies report heavily for every penny. We worked with many on online payments and have such an uneasy experience. Accordingly, the issue of monetization is a problem here. Соответственно, вопрос монетизации здесь проблемен достаточно.
достаточно сложно организовать подобную инфраструктуру, есть проблемы. It is quite difficult to organize such an infrastructure. There are problems in legislating in general to resolve this. And if you know, the opening of the now policy of Polis takes a certain amount of time. You cannot open it online. It is impossible to sign an insurance policy online with EDS now. Neither an individual nor even a company and if such precedents arise. And accordingly, the problem is to delegate insurance to someone suddenly. This is an actual problem for the market, as for many markets. But here are very serious and not changing complexity, both in the legislation and in the issue of pricing. Меняющиеся сложности как в законодательстве, так и в вопросе ценообразования. Соответственно, любой проект – это масштабируемость, это очень важный аспект. И здесь, опять же, мы там, проблемы, которые возникают в Казахстане, умножаем там, на 10 или 20 да, стран, куда проект… Accordingly, any project is scalability. This is a very important aspect. And here again, we multiply the problems that arise in Kazakhstan by 10 or 20 to the countries where the project goes. In Russia, its legislative aspect has its own way of signing the insurance of the policy. Kyrgyzstan also has its own way. There are no universal prescriptions. You just need to take and do. Investors and start of the project in general need to start from the aspect of the state in those countries, and it should not be one country where the project starts. And about aspects of direct dialogue with insurance companies, we have precedence of services, of aggregation of insurance policies in the market. And it basically works. The guys have not badly adjusted marketing, a context and already due to that, they receive some income. This is the next step. And on the next level, I think the market will come to them. And if the project wants to be launched now, it is necessary to solve a whole range of problems, to show their solutions. Show already declarative stories with whoever it was who is creating this market now. Users will be interested, that's for sure. The issue of the backup, so to say, will be the biggest difficulty. Again, the start of the project is a few active guys with a good development experience, with good skills. They have to find out how it actually works in the market, and then this little pink idea can be knocked out and turn into something. People are increasingly using drones, sometimes in completely new, unexpected areas. We have already talked about full-fledged drone races, now the turn of drone boarding has come. The idea is copied from kiteboarding, but instead of a special sail, a drone is used here. Long story short, drone boarding is a kind of snowboarding with the help of special cargo quadrocopters. A snowboarder is attached to a drone by a cable. It pulls the athlete behind him. In the summer season, instead of snowboards, you can use a longboard. Such a drone with 16 rotors lifts up to 145 kilograms of cargo and speeds up to 150 kilometers per hour. However, for security reasons, it was programmed to be limited to 60. The battery charge lasts about 10 minutes, and four fans of Extreme Entertainment can immediately go for a ride. Methods of printing leather from biological materials were developed by the specialists of Madrid University, Carlos III, in cooperation with the staff of the University Hospital of Gregorio Maranian in Madrid. The so-called bio-ink was used for printing. It was applied in such a way that the artificial skin completely repeated the structure of the human. The main difficulty was the selection of the correct technique for mixing and sequential application of biological materials. When printing on a 3D printer, different compositions were layered layer by layer to make a fully functional fabric. It is biologically active, feeds, renews and produces collagen. This substance provides the elasticity of the skin. The Agility Robotics company has developed a robot courier named Cassie. He can move quickly and deliver goods. Cassie consists of two mechanical legs with high stability and balancing. When designing his movements, the creators studied ostriches whose speed during the run reaches 70 km per hour. However, for now, the robot can compete only with the person. Cassie is not afraid of difficult natural conditions. It is resistant to damage and moisture, adapted to rapid movement over off terrain. Cassie 
can withstand even a strong push and continue the movement. These qualities, according to the creators of the robot, will help to use it for the delivery of urgent small-sized cargo and assistance in rescue operations.